But anyway, you don't never see but women being around other women. Amen? You know something wrong. Amen? Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord. I'm getting ready to close, y'all. Damn. Ain't that missed that? Thank the Lord. See, a hook. It's a form. A hook in you. It could be temptation. Then a hook is tempting you. Mm -hmm. It could be a temptation in nothing but a hook. Mm -hmm. When they hook you, you hook. Mm -hmm. See, drugs, somebody says a habit, it was a hook. Alcohol, drinking alcohol ain't nothing but a hook. Sex ain't nothing but a hook. You just want to run all the time just have sex with every woman you see. You don't want to run all the time have sex with every man you see. See, you hooked on sex. You trade for it. You jones it for it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Men and women be jones and for it. I got to have a hit. Amen? Some women just want two or three guys in and, and, and one night. So they don't care. They hook. And in other words, when you're hooked into something, guess what? You like it. You can't see what you're doing is wrong, but you're hooked in it. You're so engrossed in it, I like it. Uh -huh. So but dope at it, when he bring it dope, he said, man, I want, I want me hit. He ain't trying to get get away from it. He's looking for it. Amen? Amen. When a, when a person bring beer, man, I want to get me a cold one, man. Amen? Thank God, you bring cold one. Amen? I know how to do it. Amen? By the cold one. Amen? When I, was, when I was out in the world, amen, I'd get home. Man, let's go get a cold one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Me, me and the, the guys from job, we go out, we go get a we go get a one six pack, you know, mm -hmm. right six pack. Have have a taste for it, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 that's wrong. Amen. Amen. So you got addiction to that every day. You looking to buy your six pack. When I when I got saved, man, I, I had a little bit of extra money. Amen. I thank God for that. Amen. Because the money I was buying in the bag the bill, I had more money. Amen. Amen. So I said, Lord, I think I got more money in my pocket than money. Just got to get a cold. Let's go get a cold. And all the chip in and buy a six pack. You know, because you can't bring no six pack by yourself. So we do. We just chip in. Amen. Amen. But I think sometimes we look at it, see, after the distraction comes about us wanting got a taste for something. Uh -huh. See, the fish got a taste for the bait. We the fish. Amen. We got a taste for the bait. Uh -huh. Amen. See, fish is a fish that loves something. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. He can't get he got the taste in his mouth. Amen. I need that. I need that. I want that. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. So when we see it like that, that the fish is there and, and he's there and to look at things. Amen? Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord. Here it is right here. This is the next scripture. That could be a distraction. I'm about to close. Luke 11 and 4. And do not lead us into temptation, mm -hmm. but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Lord, do not lead us into temptation. Mm -hmm. Do not lead us into temptation. Cover me, Lord. Amen. We need to pray that prayer every day, Lord. Lord, just cover me. Amen. But lead me, lead us from all the evil one. Lead us not into temptation, Amen. but lead us, Lord, but deliver us from, from the evil one. Lead us not into the temptation. Don't let us be tempted. Don't do not let activated distraction. Don't let the distraction be activated. Help us not to activate the distraction. Because if we activate the distraction, we're gonna sin. Amen? Amen. Do not lead us into temptation. Don't lead us into the temptation that we may act on the temptation. And because when we act on the temptation, it's activated. Thank the Lord. It's activated distraction. See, activated distraction comes about when we act on something that's wrong. Lead us not into the temptation. Thank the Lord. But deliver us from the evil one. Good God Almighty, I like this preacher. He's going to tell you the truth. Cover me, Lord. Don't, don't let me be in, in an area that I'm, 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 I'm tempted. Amen. Don't let me be in an area uncomfortable. Don't let me be into a uh, uh, uncompromised uh, uh, situation that I compromise. Amen. Compromise. Amen. Activated distraction. It's always around us. I don't care. It's around the good people. It's around the bad. It's around all of us. We can't. We can't. We can't 
and say, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be around that death or that bad. Man, you ain't gotta be around him. Mm-hmm. Dick ain't be around you, he'll find you. That's it. Look at that I'm ducking dog. I ain't going over there because I know what over there, they over there cracking and they over there with sexual sin, the, the prostitutes and everything. You get the prostitute to come to you in the grocery store. Huh? Come to you in the grocery store. Okay. He try to rock on you and rap on you, hit on you. Uh-huh. You know what you need to be praying and Lord, don't let me activate the distraction. When the when the prostitute come to you and tell you, say, uh, come on, I got you. You got twenty five. You got time. That's it. You need to say, no, I don't have time. Uh-huh. I'm not going to activate the distraction. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you got to have enough enough God in you to not to act. You got to own the distraction. Amen. Woo, good God Almighty, man, this is good. Amen. Activate distraction. Uh-huh. Amen. Look, look at Peter. Peter warns us here. First Peter 5, 8, and 9. Uh-huh. Your adversary, the devil, walks, he walking uh-huh. about like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Amen. Thank the Lord. Resist him and steadfast in faith. Uh-huh. Good God Almighty. Don't fool yourself. He walk in the church. Your adversary, uh-huh. the devil, he points it out. Peter said, don't fool yourself. Your adversary, your devil is walking about. Uh-huh. You can't see him sometimes. He walking about, the devil is walking about <laughs> like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. He, the devil is, you see, this is what it is. We, sometimes we don't even understand. Uh-huh. Let's go out to dinner. Amen. Let's all us get to go out to dinner. You've seen movies where, where in the man sitting up on the table and the lady getting her foot and rubbing on the man up on the table. You've seen that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. The man that's sitting at the table ain't bothering nobody. And all of a sudden, that he feels somebody under the table and got his leg under the table rubbing on and you just jump. Uh-huh. Know what you got to do then? You got to get up. Say, okay, I'll see y'all later. That's it. You got to have enough God in you. Say, I got to leave him. Because if I don't, it's going to be activated distractions. <laughs> hey man, she went to the other guy, but see, she don't want him. She's been looking at you uh-huh. the whole time. That's right, problem. I ain't, I, I, I'm going to come to that. See, long time, you could be hanging with somebody. He was, good Lord, might help me. Thank the Lord, it's activated distraction. Amen. Thank the Lord. I never forget. This, and see, I can preach this kind of stuff because I know I had to do it. He was at the class reunion. Me and my wife sitting there at the class reunion. That's why I like this preacher. He tells the truth. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, I feel somebody's hand get over there. Oh, I said, yeah, what's man. this? Yeah. I looked around. Yeah. The Holy Spirit said, you need to get up. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to be activated distraction. She's about to grab That's you, bad. brother. Mm-hmm. Her hand moving up. Uh, I say, I got to get up from here right now. My wife didn't even know what was going on. She had she had came over there where we were, sit right by right. me, and then wrapped her hand on my thigh and moving it up. I said, Lord, help me, Jesus. I got to get up. I got up, went way back at the back of the building, stood up. Yep, Amen. Thank you, Lord. I stood up. My wife wondered, why you got up? Yep, I never did get She said, why you got up went back there? I said, you didn't see that sister hand. Mm-hmm. Amen? It could be activated distraction. See, I'll tell you the truth, see. I'm trying to help you. Uh-huh. You think you just covered you and you better be you better have the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm-hmm. Something gonna be activated. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Uh-huh. That's why I like this preacher, because I, I, I if God got to cover me. Uh-huh. Because all I have seen with my eyes, and, and the devil ain't got no new trick. <laughs> Everything come at man, it's already been done. His stuff is exposure. Uh-huh. That's why I try to tell a lot of people, and you can't be no fool, man. Years ago, we had this old man. <laughs> he he was always he, we were working in the peach field. Yeah. He be walking around. Don't be no fool now. Uh-huh. I was just wondering, why, why is he keep saying that? He said, "Don't be no fool now." Every time I see he would never fill in the blank. He would just say, don't be no fool now. Now, now that I got kind of up in age, I kind of understood what he was saying. That would preach too. I can't remember the name. But he was saying, don't get in the trap. 
He said, don't activate distraction. In other words, don't get into something. And he said, he was just, he would always be walking. He'd be walking in the peace field. Just be saying it. That's the only thing he'd say. Don't be no fool now. 